Let's uh, catch a recap and then get get going. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Alice, thank you. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. I wonder if we're going to undo our savior, save daddy thing. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. Oh yeah, That's forgot it. about that. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So hey, Stroost. Thank my you. My dad, of course. Hello? Or Stroost, if you're no, Dutch. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to wait for your father Thank you so to much. home when you're a kid? Welcome, welcome. Ever since he died, my life Dubu! has been addicted to Thank shit. Thank you. 29, holy shit. I oh, you were waiting awesome. for that, weren't you? You're awesome. <laughs> Just to get your face in the corner. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Excellent. <laughs> Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor. I don't know, though. I think if it were up to Chloe, she'd probably be happier disabled, but with her father, right? Really depends on the how bad it is. Emotionally rough episode. Oh, here we go. Square Enix. Turn my AC down a little bit. For some reason, this beach gave me major oxen free vibes all of a sudden. So many. Wow. Haven't whales been beaching um, because of climate change recent years? Can she talk? <laughs> it would stink horribly, yeah. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. So, Max, so pretentious. <laughs> but I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. 
Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. No. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden. She's so much, so much nicer like See? this though. <laughs> Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Don't get your wheels stuck in the stuff. sand. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. I want to know what happened to her. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Ah. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you... That makes sense. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Paralyzed? And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know So what paralyzed from the neck down, don't pretty much? Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. My, it happened to my neighbor in the Netherlands. vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. That's horrible. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Mm, might be. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place. <laughs> my nose is getting cold. It That's is cute. cold out here. <laughs> Hello? I hate that word. No offense. None taken. How is she controlling her thing, though? Whoa, oh, with her head. Like, push the thing on the left to go left. Is that how she does it? How does she move forward, though? I don't know, though. What would you guys... It's a very... A very difficult moral uh, decision. Would you want your dad to be alive but give up mobility for the rest of your life? And, like, basically just give up your own life, even though you're still alive? Is it worth being... Uh, what's the word? Uh, paralyzed from the neck down in return for your father's life? Pretty or do you want there. your father to just die where he should have died in the, past, in the past the so you can have your own me. life? I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? S 
snow globes are taking over. <laughs> oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. A deer, huh? Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Maybe she still does. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Well, she can if she puts her face in it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> at least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I'm glad you think so. My, um... Oh, there's the water. Drink up, buttercup. Uh, my neighbor had a horrible life. Oh man. The he um is dry. I don't think I've They had two kids. This much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast? I've, I've talked about this before. I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? That would be Dude, awesome. I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. I'll it wait for them to thought. finish. I forgot. No, no, you're just trying to help. To say it earlier. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. My neighbor had two kids, and his first kid died committing suicide. His second kid died from a drug overdose, a bad um, ecstasy, bad ecstasy at a party. Then he got into a car accident and got paralyzed from the waist down. And then 10 years later, he got cancer. Isn't that the worst ever? I feel so bad for him. And then um, they started treating him for cancer, but it turned out that it wasn't fixable anymore. And then uh, he uh, applied for, um, how do you, what's the word? Euthanasia? Is that the word in English? That like just, um, fuck, what's the word? They help him commit suicide, basically. They help him die. Uh, it's legal in the Netherlands. Ah, oh, fuck. Assisted euthanasia? Assisted suicide, yeah. Because it's legal in the Netherlands. <clears throat> so uh, he applied for that and he got it. And I was just like, we were his neighbors, so we just saw it all happen from the sidelines. It's just horrible. Poor dude. His wife is still there, though. His wife is all alone now. Lost everything. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. I'm a loser, baby. I'm trying to make ba -dum -bum, right. ba -dum -bum. Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? I know this is a dumb question, but... Oh, Matt, thank you. you. Thank you for the resub. Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Hmm. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? No way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Oh. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, 
I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. Blade Runner. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. She's so much nicer now, though, Chloe. <laughs> she was a real bitch. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. You want to search the drawers? Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. There's the old Chloe. Huh? Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. Yeah, she can. It's so great. People hey, think this gear, twenty help. months. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. That's nice. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. <laughs> Thinking I of you. Who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Drop Real you a quick nice. note to let you know. Thinking about you, I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now. Don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. It's <laughs> a nice I'm sure picture. That made her feel great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Um, DVD player. So here's the DVD player. Now I just need to find the DVD. Yeah, oh, here's the DVD. Ta da! Oh my god. Thanks <laughs> for her when we were 12. That's the actual um, CD that you could have gotten with the limited edition for the soundtrack. I was looking for the soundtrack the other day, but they don't sell it digitally online. It's only available in the limited edition. That's an uncomfortable chair, though, to watch an entire movie in. That's cute. Ah, Waffle, you should really catch up if you can. It's a great story so far. You can pretty much skip episode two, though. Two was a bit boring. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant <laughs> sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. They should just make her an exoskeleton. She we <laughs> can run around. Being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. 
it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. I think that's an actual thing <sighs> they'll have in the future. Look, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. So, they think she can't get to it, that means she's not allowed to have it? I'm sure they could, like, in the future, they'll... They'll, like, input, like, metal strips along... Like, they put them straight on your skin, and then you control it with your mind, and then you can just do everything you want it to do. You're not gonna say what? Are we cool? Just want to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. You want to talk? Hit me up, Kay. Just tell me if you're mad. If you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. That's really weird. Call me back. Peace out. Hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. I haven't looked at my plant yet. I saw you throw that teepee at me. I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. I'm so mean! Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. Hey, blood. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> Of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um, Chloe? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be your father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Eh. Insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, hmm. but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> Being around you and Joyce again is so... Nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> old school. I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Incredibles 2 finally right. comes out here tomorrow. I'm so excited. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. <laughs> Sounds like you know them well. <laughs> Evil. More than Done. I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Ugh, dude. 
These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Beached angels looking for the whales. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of gray whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecolo ecologists uh, and marine biologists from across the country are carefully examining, studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Blackwell Honors student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months, yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for the 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have a few leads and little information in the, in the case, which has caught the interest of national, national reality show Where Did They Go? The, uh, I used to watch those shows on um, Discovery Channel. The Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. For more details, please contact help at Rachel Find, find Rachel Amber dot or h those shows are really scary it's just God like damn, i just went right. to the park with my daughter and then i looked away and she was gone and never found her again upstairs bathroom light switch Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Mm. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah, that's some intense shit. Oh, forgot to turn the light off. My beard is now long enough to braid. <laughs> Congrats, thing. <laughs> Hope she isn't trying to like commit suicide with it though. Take like an overdose of morphine. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. She just knows how to do that. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse, but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm She's entering the matrix, yeah. I'm already high. <laughs> hey, Kalopa. You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is it here? Ah, there. Okay. God, her back and ass must be hurting so much from constantly being on that chair. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. 
We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. <laughs> There's still time for you. We can make a pirate ship out of her chair. She'll be captain. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Is that the moment where he, uh... seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Everyone cries at this part? Oh, I must be so sh Listen, super Max, detached then, because I'm not at all emotional. My system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. Oh, she's done for? I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. I guess it's worse if you have feelings so, for Chloe, but... I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. Hmm. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Ah, she wants the thing that we were just talking about. Yes. I the do. assisted suicide thing? All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I... Ooh, I can just kill her right now? I mean, in the Netherlands, you could totally, I mean, you can't do it yourself, you have to do, a doctor has to do it, but... Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. But now I'm asking you to help me the same way. Nah, I want to help you, I Chloe, won't do it. I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once. I would go back uh, to that picture where you made the pancakes. Let Daddy go. One of my life. Honestly. Put Please. everything back the way it was. Help me, Max. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. <clears throat> Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. That's I'm so twisted, to though, to ask that from a friend. Not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't I don't know, though. Would you try and go You've been wanting to, since to the moment you, right? where she got the car from her dad? So or would you go back to where back. the dad died? Chloe. I am never leaving you again. It's illegal in the U.S. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, you can't just do it like that in the Netherlands either. You have to... It's a very complicated uh, process. I'm sorry, William. Ah, okay. So she's gonna go back to the dad. That makes sense.
Should we tell Chloe what we've done once we do it? I think so. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Back to asshole stuff here, though. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the Is she gonna burn it? Oh, <gasps> so she can never try change it again? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Oh, she did it. Oh, oh my god. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. <laughs> She's never leaving me. Yeah, that's also a really tough decision. She just Max knows he's so gonna strange. die. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? It always confuses me when one character has like jeans and the sweater on and the other one has like shorts and a t-shirt. Like, are you guys cold or hot? Like, make up your mind. I want you to be strong. What's the weather like? If you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Yeah, it must be hard on Max as well. Here we go. And that happened. <laughs> the mother has such a smug face in that picture. Oh, that was the car accident. I see. Mm-hmm. I did not. Key Heinz. I wouldn't have burnt that picture though. I would have changed as little as possible because you don't you don't know the repercussions of anything you do in the past. She should have known that by now. She should tell her what happened. Sure did. Damn. Let's quickly turn the music off because fucking everything is copyrighted in this game. No! I want to turn it off! Fuck. Well, gotta take off the music then. Every episode now, I'm just like, upload the edit it, upload the video, wait for five, four or five copyright strikes, turn, take it down again, change the upload, etc. There's her and Frank, uh, Amber, Rachel Amber.
Yeah. Why the garage again, though? Haven't we already done that? No. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. It's still in here? Fuck. What can I do about it? Can you capture it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Do I open some window? Fly, Go that way. Be free. Yeah, did it. Can't believe that Bert was still in here. <laughs> um, okay, downstairs. I'm not suspicious at all. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Oh, garage time. You can set a clock to that Looks man's like hairline. His car repairs. <laughs> Maybe there's some new clues around. Hmm. Okay. What? Why did Chloe text him? <laughs> no damn dirty human can stop me. Go ape not human. <laughs> Buzz you later. Oh, so many messages. Now back to the books. Talk soon. It's almost over. Call you guys later. Love you. Can't wait to see you. Amada, thanks Justin. For what? <laughs> wait, knows who? Wait. Do you know Frank Bauer's drugs? That's it? Ask Nathan. He knows him. Okay. Uh, who's this? Juliet. Are you doing your own investigation without my help? Just bored, talk soon. Wait. Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank. Oh, okay, I've been asking around. You can't keep secrets from Ace reporter Julia Watson. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> let me know. <laughs> All caps. Hey, girlfriend, let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Is it seven one seven one? I knew that number would be important. <laughs> oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. 
Blackwell Academy parking. She knows everything. Twin Peaks. Oh, he's been oh he's been tracking her car where she's going. Oh, you took a picture of that. Twilight Zone. Wait, who's that? Score. Back to, Back Chloe. to Chloe now. That's it? That's all we wanted? Oh! Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Shouldn't we let the bird in then? Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Can the bird get in here? Why would there be a nest here, though, of all places? Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Hmm. I wonder what that did. Can I open the door for the bird? Hmm, I think that's about it. Eggy wigs. <laughs> Call Chloe. Why don't I just go up? It's amazing how much drama this living room is. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Okay. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Ha! Huh. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. Okay. Chloe's getting smarter. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, I'm going, girl. It's not that hard. No, this is such a cutie. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Sometimes it other people do. It sounds like they have their mouths right you on the microphone. Know how happy I am to so see you. So breathy. I'm so awesome. happy to see you again. This is the question if I ask how you're doing. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the I'm nurses keeping the gave balloons, me some though. pen and paper so I could do some drawings. She should make a kid's book. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an Called idea it. for a new children's book about bullying. 
I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. Huh. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can hey, get this Matt, right. Hey, thank you so much. Holy shit, thank you. Uh, looks like Kate's... She needs another hug, though, before you go. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Hmm. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? Um... Not sure. I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight. Oh, the like party's tonight, happened. yeah. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Yeah. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Hmm. Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know Wait. he likes you. She's very I'm Christian, right? Under the drive -in what if I do so turn out to be gay with we'll Chloe? See. What will happen to my relationship with, with Kate? What's going on? It, a date seems weird. Is Kate no, going to be like, you're you going to hell that. for this? Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. She seems to be doing okay. She's on the bend. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? <sighs> Time travel is such a mindfuck. This is nice. Time to go. See you later, babe. I want to look at it, but there. That is so sweet. Oh. Even Victoria signed. <laughs> but not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Yeah, we really need to make up with her. New conversation option. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Black Hall Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty, faculty have organized a rally in your honor and I've never seen such an out, such outpouring of academic and community support from any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. That's a nice letter. I wonder if it's a new conversation hey, option Kate, with her. Back again. 
Which makes me happy. Victoria. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. <laughs> she doesn't I say do bitch. <laughs> in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Yeah. I wasn't so nice to her this week either. When I took a picture of her covered in pain. Mm -hmm. uh, it was not a proud moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You I do. Okay. Well, how is she? Doing great. She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Well, here we go. I wonder if I can at all pick up the picture and give it back to Victoria. I've been wanting to do that since like episode two. It looked like he was wearing an Overwatch League t-shirt. <laughs> Did you guys see that um, play the game that I put on Twitter? I was so proud of that. Hey, Max, how you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yo. Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's. Weird being suspended and just walking around campus. Well, you are an adult now. This isn't prison, is it? Not until we get orange jumpsuits. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. Hmm. I feel like a total loser, but... It's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. <laughs> I have some pride. Be seen. Yes, you will. That was funny. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous <laughs> because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Who? Is that the skater kid? Let's see if I can find out where yeah. Nathan is. I want to talk to the Overwatch League kid. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. Hola. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. No. I'm a wannabe artist. I love your drawings. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Mm. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? You mean lately? Like, any time today? I saw Jefferson talking with Nathan a little while ago, a but little I while ago. try to stay out of his way. I have enough assholes to deal with here. Mm. Have you talked to anybody about... What happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. You talk to me. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. 
She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the roof. right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, <laughs> but don't bro fuck holes. with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Sketchbook. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Aw, dude. Go to the party. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these black world bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Yay! Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Okay. I saw a drone flying around. That means there, back there, is the girl. Let's talk to these guys as well. I had to clear away another batch of dead. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. <laughs> I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. <laughs> I have to I clear away another to batch of dead. <laughs> I heard it too. Much less the snow and whales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Oh, my shoulders. Like they are. I am worried. Oh, I can't believe reality. I'm taking apart my computer I feel tomorrow. Like it's changing right in front of us. <sighs> you and Samuel both. We were talking about that. I'm like really into the game, over. and then every now I'm just like Our ripped out of it, and like ah! It. <laughs> Only two it's more days. Reason. <laughs> uh, you think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to the kill off sea and wildlife here. Burr, Unless you know something I don't. Burr, 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 burr. Tabanga? What's that? What about wormholes and chaos theory? Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground, and chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, Excellent. A Sound of Thunder. Slamantha. Away, <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> Thank you for the arms. Like Thank you so much. Max. How are you, Slamantha? And it all can unravel. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. What were you playing? Slam. Just study partners. I can't believe he does have friends. That depends what your definition is. But I'd like to see more friendships at Blackwell, less bullying. Especially after this week. Me too, Miss Grant. So... You don't know where Nathan is? I saw him sulking off campus earlier. Mm. But you look like you have more on your mind than a question. I saw Yeah, that's her name. It's so yellow, I couldn't read it. <laughs> Dino Crisis! Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, the puzzles are really hard in that game. That's so cool, though. Congrats on beating it. I don't it. think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs I surveillance still need to do the sequel. I'll do that coffee. soon. You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Mm, no thanks. Uh, no, no thanks, Miss Grant. I have my best friend and my parents. For now. I'm it's a really hard there, game, yes. Yeah. Just don't ever be afraid to talk to somebody, okay? I wish Kate had come to me. I had no idea what she was going through. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. That nosy drone. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. 
It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Hmm. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no uh, place here. You're so right. fucking stiff. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I can't I wait. Hear you, Max. In like two I months from now, I'm gonna be like all ripped, all be like super sporty, and like, hey guys, what's up? All too young no to neck be pain. So cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's all that with a signature. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being Gabuff. Gabriflex. <laughs> everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. I think she will. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. Mm, you don't like Nathan? Whoa. You really don't like Nathan. How come? Samuel likes everybody. Until they give him a reason not to. He did. That's a very oh, good one. Okay, <laughs> enough said. <laughs> Innocent you know until proven Black guilty, Secret, huh? So I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things. Not people, but I, I'm excited I though. It'll be great to like you, just feel stronger again physically. I'm so weak now. I'm like a marshmallow, spineless marshmallow. Uh, why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision. Hey, than have a buddy. <laughs> Hello, no, Max. I, I just look at everything from. A different angle. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals. So many on conversation Arcadia options Bay. with him. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. I'll definitely eat cheese, but I'll take it easy on the cheese. For How sure. can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? Definitely My dad eat was vegetarian, a though. Mm. And he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. I'm gonna go 99% vegetarian yeah, they, and then go to the gym a couple times a week. I'm excited. Do you think this is some kind of eco disaster or. I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So. Next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. My parents cook, yeah. If course. something happened to them... Nothing special, oh. but I like it. Not as long as you're here to take My care dad makes the Sunny. best fried eggs. The only thing that calms them is food. Sunny side up. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Oh, come here. Yo, there he comes. Oh, he's getting donuts. She's in real my ass. I think everything is changing here. Yeah. As a scientist, that's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Who are you talking to? Hey, Brooke, how are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, 
Thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Um, drone? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Shit. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Scrolls a photo up? Now, oh, excuse maybe. excuse me. My drone needs me. Hmm. She's jealous, huh? How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? A partner? This guy wants to yell at us. Hmm. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, Squirrel Paparazzi? How do I get them together, though? Hmm. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. It sounds ominous. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. I want to talk to you. For us now, Can't talk to him. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all on Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, it sounds like he misses her laugh when he's jerking off. <laughs> okay, I have to bounce. Come hang with us at the park sometime. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Exactly, Khan, when he's what? <laughs> I miss her laugh when I'm something something with my board. So wink, wink. We don't have co ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. <laughs> Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Nathan's room number is one on one. <laughs> you bring the rebel out in me. I know, right? I was running at the swimming pool the other day. <laughs> Evan roll. Oh, Kate brings it. So room one eleven is the magic number. Can we go in any of the other rooms? Who are those people? Hey, Falconer, thank you so much. How are you? Nathan. Doesn't look like I can enter any of the other rooms. Thank you, Falconer. Oh, hello. Holy shit, just destroy it. Should I rewind so that the door isn't broken? Find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. Okay. Oh, now that Dave is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get back, get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce, even I get even I get into shenanigans. But I'm trying to be a good inf influence on Chloe. I know, Max, I forget you're still teenage adults. That's so cute and ironic. Best son in the world. Nathan still has it around. That is kinda cute. Fuck. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Bastard. 
Man, I was looking, speaking of cameras, I was looking into getting a DSLR camera. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I want to do this fancy thing, uh, not right away, it's gonna take a while, I have to save up for it, but I want to do this thing where I have like a DSLR camera on a tripod that I can switch to for like, uh, when we do like just our talk in front yeah. of the stream, Hurry before the stream. Find Nathan's room. Here, thank you. I'm in the room. Um, can I there? Um, but I want to like switch scenes. So switch like a really good camera that's like full screen, where you can just see like the background of my room as well, my office uh, before streams, and then I can switch to like this setup if I really want to like start the game. It would be like a super smooth transition. And it would be awesome. So I was looking into cameras like that, like that and how you can hook it up uh, to OBS and stuff. And uh, the ca I was looking at like what are the best cameras that are also kind of affordable. And I found like a Canon uh, EOS one. I was like, yeah, I'll go for that. And then uh, you have to get a good lens. So I looked up for that. And then you have to get like uh, the Elgato camera link. I think it was what it was called. It's like a little thing that um, just converts your camera, the screen of your camera to USB. So that would be perfect because I'm kind of short on HDMI ports on my computer. Um, so I was like, yeah, I'll do that. But then I, yeah, like all that together is like 800 bucks. It's like a lot of money. So I was like, oh, well, maybe, maybe we'll do like a donation you. goal towards Christmas or something, but not anytime soon. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. No. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. To Victoria. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week. So I can wear something just as silent and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious path potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. Oh, if we're going to have an end of time world theme, end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Kate gone wild. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. You just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as if my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Jesus. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Ah, Bucky, thank you so much. Far away. Good luck moving. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. To the Bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your existing, exciting, exciting, scholastic life of Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please 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 send me some new photos of campus so I can live vic vic vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make, sh make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a Jaguar ship to your dorm. <laughs> That's cute. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Diet pills? Extreme diet suppressant. Huh. Reminds me of uh, Shin Hayarigami. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift? A gift from... From who? 
Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. God, he's fucked up. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Nathan Prescott. <laughs> all American teen. Ah, Press, thank you so much. 20 months! Holy shit, thank you. Uh, my cat's not around, unfortunately. Neither of them. Scratch marks. Ah, hiding the something under the bench. Uh, bench. Bench. Couch. I said bench because of the letter B in Dutch. It's bunk. I don't think one book <laughs> can guide the Prescotts. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Sure do. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Wait, she broke a lamp? I forgot. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That is so Chloe. Hey, Asshole, we need to talk and we're go I'm going to tell everyone what you- everybody what you did. You're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god! Chloe! Hm. <sighs> Chloe. I really hope they were all consenting models. <laughs> Let's find out what you're hiding. He just leaves a projector on like that, by the way. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Ooh, that must be a special phone. Let's get the hell out now of I here. I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Cool, now it's open. Okay. I got the goods, let's go. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop Should we right rewind there, this? Nathan. Make me ho. Who is it? Max. Oh, hey. I got this. Uh huh. That emoji. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> emoji sweater. Oh, damn, dude. You are so fucking dead. Get off me, bro. Holy shit! He's showing him who's boss. Damn. Stop, Warren, though. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Damn. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Shit. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Holy fuck. Intense. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Oh shit. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Go to the principal and Max say that he pulled the gun on you? No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse... God. I'm assuming the apocalypse Such a is good guy. And thank you. Seriously. 
I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. <laughs> yes, you are. God, that shirt. Fuck. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Damn. His shirt's almost Bugnari. Yeah, totally. <laughs> exactly. It's like an angry Bugnari shirt. Got white there. Must be so stinky. It fits you so well, Bugnari. God. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Nope. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe. Do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. Code for the book? That's all. Mm. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. She seems serious. Hope she'll keep her cool. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Gross. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Take the trash out sometime, dude. I mean, it's outside of the van, so he technically did take it out. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, <laughs> Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. <laughs> okay. But I'm not getting you high. No, no. That's Frank, fine. We're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? How did he find them back? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. 
Yeah, yeah, well, it always He's actually a soft bean. Yeah, he Chloe is. Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is... Papa if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love dogs. I love dogs. <laughs> I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompadou how to be Pompadou. my friend. Pompadou! Such a That's good name. Really cool, Frank. Does he call him Pom? Your dog is short. lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel Bubby, now. See you Rachel, later. is that why you're really Yeah, here? see you on the other yes. side. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Uh, yeah. Photo? Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't Aww, stand dude. not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. Here he goes. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. <gasps> yes! That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Nice. Good luck. Couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Fuck. Touched Chloe's butt. I saw that. That was cool Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Daco? Oh, it was a chain. Now let's see that client list, I guess. Chloe, are you okay? He seemed genuinely I'm close with her. Worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. That must have fucked her up a little bit. It's more to Rachel than she thought. Now I want to kiss her. I better her. focus on this board <laughs> and start tying these clues together. Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. I see why Chloe digs you. Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want a party. Good luck. Huh. He's super nice now. Damn. We should c put the gun back. Sorry. We got Frank on our side without using you. 
We should put it back in the gun case. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there is a specific number of clues to select. Okay. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay. Uh, how do I... Of course. I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, how do I... Oh, oh, there we go. Um, the week of the party. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. David would deny this and give questionable company Rachel's been keeping. Not certain I can believe her right now. Hmm. Can't look lower than that, so. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate. In his own messed up way. Uh, Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? What are we looking about again? Uh, I forgot. Do I get punished for getting it wrong? You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. He never installed them, did he? This is like goddamn math. I suck. So that's not it. What do I need to do again? <laughs> I need to find out what Nathan was doing that week, right? David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. And I need to select three of the things. But this was after the party. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Wait. That was not it? Mm. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Hmm. Not sure I'm doing it right, but... Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Well, not Nathan, because it's banged up. He would have had a fancy car. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Probably that one. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? This is the one he was tracking, though. Twilight Zone, because I remember saying Twilight Zone. That's definitely Chloe's car. Yeah. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Oh. Overcompensating. He he usual. rides the car that's banged up. Yep, another car David was tracking. So wait, which what was the number plate? XF What what is that a short for? I can't see it. SX SXFT. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? This one. Oh yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Six feet under? Oh damn. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Shit. So are those the locations? My house.
have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Mm, let's see. There's a lot of numbers in here. That's probably not it then. Just phone numbers? Hmm. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. Five for two. But those numbers might be useful. Nine five three five. So busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency. Due to a crude outburst in Mrs. Hoida's intro, intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20, Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior, pa behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond, beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss the matter with Nathan to impress upon him, impress upon him the severity of this situ situation. Please see the attached file for further full reports. Mm -hmm. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. One one one. Mm. He probably changed if there it. Is a dark room. We better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Unless he's like so lazy. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to oh, unlock hey, it. Hey, Jenna, it's been so long. Oh, uh, I think just the, the card and then maybe these. Doesn't do anything. Oh, I need four things. Uh, uh, fuck. Okay, this is just sad, Max. Yeah, I have no idea. That said he's misbehaving. That's the party. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Did I do anything? Let's start hacking. Let's see if he's too lazy. Oops. Bad code. Okay. So he wasn't too lazy to change it. Then my next try is 9535. Five. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Well, I mean, no harm in trying. Something with five four two, maybe. But we need more numbers. Maybe zero five four two or five four two zero. Maybe it's his date of birth, August twenty nine, so zero eight two nine. I'll try 5420 first. You locked it, dumbass. And I have to. Come here. Okay. I'll try his birthday, August 29, 0829. What up? Need the G. Okay, cool. Bitch, sell me water, asshole. Calm down, bring it to me. Bringing it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. You're home. This Got is to party all tonight. about Nathan home. trying to score way. for the Vortex Local. Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Hey, I need to score ASAP. Don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call to give you the exact directions. In transit, get that money out. Drug dealer drama. You up, bro? What's up, bro? 
Has anyone called their grandma bro yet? <laughs> What's up, bro? Make me a sandwich, bro. <laughs> no shit, what you need? Peruvian flakes, skidoo, acid. They're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff. You home? Damn, he's really using a lot, isn't he? Don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, neat weed, etc. Now, calm yourself, you tweaking. Soon, hook a brother up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything. Or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh! That's no, the text Nathan, that we've been getting. It's time for you to watch out. Yeah. Asshole. So he's Is been the one that... Is this from father? Please do not contact me at work. I've told you, told you this before, and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. Uh, you want me to treat you like an adult who can't get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like, I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Damn. Okay. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay. God, we're doing some serious investigative Frank's shit. Book. But the client names are encrypted. Okay, so I need to encrypt it. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. I mean, you don't know her. Jeez. Right? David Matson and Nathan Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule, acting as a front for another local deal dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Comes out this September, the sequel? So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. So September we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider and uh, Life is Strange 2. I'll probably try and do this, the prequel before that as well then. Just to be fully like Rot must stand on track. for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Ah, so this is the code, I see. Nathan is rot, yeah. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Um. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Nathan. Pussies can't fucking fight. Some Dumbo doesn't know how to spell. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Okay, so that's a good one. Oh, I can't select it? No. Oh. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. There's Rot. 930. 10 p.m. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, uh, that's it. who am I to talk? Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same yeah, day. Yeah, there we go. Party supplies, no doubt. Go away, Tyler. He's driving around in his motorcycle. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. I wonder what dog name there he is. would have given me. Maybe Labradoodle. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Clues. Take a breath. Holy shit. <laughs> Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Jesus. Oh, so many things. Fuck. You up, bro? Make me a sandwich, bro. So these are all the text messages. 
So there's the one time that he had two deals, yeah? So we see. 10 7. 10 7. So let's. Let's see. That was 10 50 p.m., and this is. 3 50 p.m. So he drugged her at night, right? So let's select that one. So we got. 7 October evening. Let's see. 7 October. That's 4. That's 1. So nothing here. They didn't. Oh, here. Yeah, so this is the one. So then the evening. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? It's not the right day. That beach is like Frank's main office. This is the evening. So it could be that one. Let me check the others. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the... Somebody is stocking up on gas. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. 11.23. So he could be hiding clues there too. Wait, the lamp was broken, wasn't it? In his room. I think it's that one. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. It's earlier Poor, in the evening. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, okay, she would that fry he took her ass. to his dorm, like the idiot he is. Damn. I I must have missed something. What? How am I? Mm. So. This infamous party was the fourth. Oh, I'm on the seventh. Wait, why did he need two things on the seventh then? I thought the party was on the seventh. The fourth? Nine hundred dollars? Jesus. Speed cocaine? Jesus. 540. And that's three days later. Eleven PM. Oh, there it is. That's the one we need. That was seven. Seven. Okay, that was before. Me. And this is again later that night. Oh, okay, so it was two times on the fourth. And he he's making a house call. I see. I see. And then the dorms. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. That's not it. 10.34 p.m. is when he was heading over and then 11 p.m. he made the deal. So where was the dude at 11 p.m.? 20 minutes later he was there. But he went somewhere, right? On the 4th, wait. Not on the seventh. Oh, that's it. The fourth, ten fifty six. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Aaron A. Aronson. I'm shocked. <laughs> Should we call the police? 
Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? Yeah. That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid Let's go have a look. That. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. Mm. It's just the two of us, nobody else. Yeah. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I wouldn't leave the computer open like that. Maybe delete your search history, too. Just saying. Are we gonna find some, like, creepy room where he takes all of his girls to date rape? Holy shit, this is scary. I know. But we're here. Let's go find the best way in. We're two hours in now, so this episode should be a whole other, another hour. It feels like we're close to the end, though, but... I guess not. Check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Take a picture. So you Dude, can compare the tire tracks. Here. Then we need to get in that barn. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Oh, squirrel. He deserved a beat down. No, I can't keep up. No, wait. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. Cool, I have to calm myself down. No, dude. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Keep your voice down. They text so text so fast. Yeah. Oh yes, Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. There's a body in there. <gasps> Rachel's in there. A Never mind. <laughs> Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. <laughs> Everyone's into selfies. This tractor has paid its dues. I haven't taken a selfie in forever. I'm just always so tired. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Oh no, wait, never mind. I took a selfie the other day when I went uh, to the... Not the beach. To the sea with Pika. There's no beach area, so... Uh, dearest Mr. Linden, I am writing in regards to your outstanding debts to you that you have chosen to ignore. Prescott's may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and we expect our due. We take your silence as a personal insult and thus dedicate our family to family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of, end of the day, July 24th, in the year of our Lord 1903, Rest assured that we will make your life a living hell. Kindest regards, MLP. Boring. Haystack. So many haystacks, so few needles. <laughs> oh, what's that? Ah, the good old days. 
bacon, sugar, coffee, cocaine, <laughs> tobacco, and milk. Just your everyday shopping list. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. By Solomon of Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> Good girl. What? Just rotting wood. Okay. Pitchfork. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. <laughs> True. Something here? No. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. With the flag and everything. Holy fuck. Okay. There's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. There must be something up there. I don't know if we can reach it though. Ring, ring. Man, we're like real detectives. Cross referencing evidence, Whoa. finding a new location. Ooh, fuck. What is this? Holy shit. It's totally brand new. Why? Old. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. I want us to just have a closer look at the lock. I don't think that's even going to break the padlock, honestly. Um, do I have to get up there? I have to get through this monster padlock first. Can I climb this? So many haystacks, so few needles. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Chloe in the background's awesome, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pop it away, Supermax. I dig having minions. So where's the thing? What the fuck? That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Well, stand on it. Nope! No! Now I need another boost! Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I jumped off. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Fucking stand on it then. Jesus. What do you want me to do? Oh, there. Okay. Now this thing? Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Gross. I need to hook this up to something heavier. How about the green thing we just pushed? Good <gasps> evening, Doctor oh, Who. There's a fucking owl sleeping in there. Sorry. Hey, Squeaky, thank you so much. Oh, I woke him up. Oh no. He looks so cranky. I'm sorry. Can I hook it up to this? That looks sturdy enough to stand on. What do I hook it up to? He looks like me when I wake up. <laughs> mm. What the fuck do I hook it up on? Here's the other end of the rope. I can see that, but I don't really know what you want me to do with it. Is 
nothing else up here, so there must be something down there. I keep looking up. Oh, there, it is up there somewhere? Grab the robe and jump out the edge. Yeah, like a real superhero. I don't see anything, though. Oh, up there, maybe? I don't know if I can climb this. No. Hmm. I can do this. Where the fuck, though? I could use this old motor with that rope and hook. Um, do I need to grab the rope and hook somewhere? So that's what I wanted to do, but I just don't understand how to hook it up. Rope by the other column. Hmm. Not this one, right? Oh, here. No, wait, it was just lighting up because I was here. Um... How do I get the hook to the other thing? Maybe if I go down here and then look? <laughs> I can even skip the jump. Well, back up I go. I'm not allowed to skip this. I have to watch this one. Try rewinding. Rewind what? Oh! Because I need the motor to be up there? Oh, maybe. Um, let me see. Where is it? Let's do this. Hmm. Where is it? There we go. Finally. Is it attached to the thing though? Oh yeah it is, okay. So now I push it? Or pull it, I guess. So it's not that heavy. The rope would snap before that would work though. Skyver strikes again. Just saying. The rope would snap way before a padlock would fucking break. Unless it was like a an iron wire. Like an iron fucking thick. But then the hook would break before the padlock. Damn, this is heavy. Hey Karamru! Yeah. Oh shit. What? Now what we're is getting this? into the evil thing. Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Wait, I think I saw a minx play this. Just this specific bit. I only remember seeing her this walk in here, is though. So surreal. Three digits. Oh, uh, two. Five, four, was it? Oh, think, think. Wasn't it the red digits? That was like two, five, four or something?
Because I said something like 2540 or. Fuck. Um. Can I look it up somewhere? Was it 542? It was those digits, yeah. I just don't remember the order. Oh, yes! There we go. I thought that only worked in the movies. Oh, God. What is it, though? I don't remember what was inside. I just remember very Open specifically sesame. Max going down those stairs with Chloe up ahead. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. This is where he took her. Now what the hell? It More survivalist supplies. They be preppers. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at all this weird shit. Look at these cans. And David must shop at the same store. <laughs> It's a good excuse for reusing the same essence. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's, Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the, the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personal matter. manner. You have ignored my requests for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have assumed you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Hmm. Yeah, of course the dad doesn't want to help. He doesn't want to admit that his son is fragile. Talk tape in a bunker is always a path sign. I guess that's Nathan a huge needs printer. The most expensive printer in the world. Ooh, what is this place? Oh, that son of a bitch. Stormbreaker bunker, full estimate. Holy shit! Talk about tortured. That's creepy pictures. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> this is exactly what oh we my need. God. No. Um, can we print this with the expensive printer? What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you never to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear your screaming you screaming out my name in a public space place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you, or you're on your own. Take a picture with your cell phone of this, please. Cause holy shit. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh my god. No. <gasps> the files! There's a file on Rachel in here, I'm sure. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Victoria, too. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. He hasn't like gotten to her yet. Says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Well, Kate this is. wasn't the first. If we take this. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all. These are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. He's maybe, drugging everyone. Maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? <gasps> there. The junkyard. 
Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. We need to take this with us. Hello. T take fuck. Take the fucking oh files. Kate take, looks so doped up. Take the fucking files with you. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. He cannot tell me they're gonna walk this out of here without different. these fucking. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Don't just look at it. Fucking take it. Take all of these. Fuck. You can't tell oh, me they're the that stupid. Entertainment system. You can't tell me that they find all the proof they need and then don't take anything with them. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? It's a good looking tripod. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Well. Huh. Frank's gonna That's feel so guilty if he realizes that he, Rachel's it's been drugged up and abused because of the drugs he sold. <sighs> fuck, we're really not taking those folders? Like, what the fuck? You gotta, like, fuck! You gotta take at least one folder, especially Kate's. Take it to, to the authorities, be like, look what I found. Put it online, maybe, even, so that like, it can't be just whisked away, because you can't really trust the cops in this town. And then be like, I know where to find the rest. If you believe me, come follow me. Can I really not take it? I can only look at them. That really sucks. I... How can- how do they not take a folder? I don't understand. This makes me feel very frustrated. They finally have the proof they need for Nathan. And then they don't do anything with it. Because they chase some dead body that probably isn't even hit, even there. Could've taken it to oh, the FBI, down. yeah. Wait for me! I know exactly where I'm going! This is it! This is it! Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell! Is it a body? Oh. Is it actually her? She was there the whole time. Yeah, that's oh God, holy who shit. Does this? Who does this? <laughs> that's crazy good though, story wise. I'm impressed. Hey, the little doe! There's a cat coming, slowly. Hey. Oh, it's Big Boss! Hey. That was the end of the episode? Feels like the end of the episode. Wait, can't be. No, the party! Oh. So we gotta save Victoria. Are you sleepy? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, kitty. I want to pick you up. Man, what if you're so evil last party. that you don't Chloe, save Victoria? We can go right to Be the like, cops. bye. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. No. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years. No. And nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? Police. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. No, I'm not with her to the end. Fuck. Oh. Baby. Oh. Yeah, there's the gun. Oh, you smell great. You just woke up from the nap, didn't oh, you? Shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. <laughs> What's so gorgeous? Jesus, Chloe, yeah. look up at the sky. Possible. Oh, what? Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. The fuck? Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Obviously. Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Half a beer, yeah. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. Cat Harris. You won't. I know how to be invisible here. Man, I didn't not expect to Rachel anymore. to actually show up. Text soon. I thought they would, like, keep her missing. <sighs> For mystery. Hi, can I take your coat or anything? Victoria's not gonna believe me though. No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Can I talk to her? I hate hmm. touching all these clothes. Some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella! Uh, hi, Stella! Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had Chloe. blue hair, yeah. dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the wow. party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. Hope this You're isn't smart, uh honest, fucking copyright claim. That would suck. Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way. In the Can't end. be. It's well, just Thank you, Max. I really mindless beats. That. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh no, I'm actually not okay. I I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Yeah, Hello. they're 18, but that this means in America they can't drink, right? I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. 
In the Netherlands, you could. Fuck, Chloe's gonna do something stupid. I believe Max didn't try to stop her. Okay. That might be copyright claimed. That sucks. Yay! They're having fun together! If he dies, like Chloe accidentally misses her shot and then kills him. Oh. Celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I his shirt prints, yeah. <laughs> and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. And I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? <laughs> Not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. <laughs> Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. But so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Hey, nice. Make no your friends. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Wow, there's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. You don't want to talk to her? God damn it. God damn it. Dudes. Fuck. You want to move. Up to protect me from another humiliating moment. Thank you, Max. <laughs> That's all I'm doing with her. <laughs> I'm just protecting her the entire time. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Her voice Alyssa. acting is still so weird. Watch out for yourself. Surely in the VIP section. Good luck. So not impressed by this VIP crap. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, mm but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to what be the VIP girl. gatekeeper, not me. So please go. 
Okay. We need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Oh, that's better. What are you doing in here? In that shit. If I get I can drink more later. Wait, this is a picture moment, isn't it? Like he he matches up with the thing. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. <laughs> Oh, someone's throwing up. <sighs> There's girls standing here and dudes peeing in the same room? That's fucking gross. Hello? Can you please hurl and flush already? Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Maybe you're not or the both. Only one who has to get sick. Oh, gross. How did this even get here? Fucking gross. I would never go to a party like this. Can I talk to Justin? Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a ramp. Everybody knows it. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Yeah, eating is way better than drinking. Always. Max. I know I'm twisted. If you tell me to choose between like a so chocolate bar fucking and tense. fucking beer, I know what I choose. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm I'm cool, Justin, and I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking a, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Go grind it out, bro. So nothing going on here. Maybe I can just get around the pool. I can't. Oh, I can. <gasps> well, at least I didn't electrify anyone. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, who stopped the music, okay? Just rewind, it's fine. Just go to the other side and rewind. Is it just that choice thing? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Who's in there? Can't see. Kate. So I have to see you smile again. You mean so much to me. I have to go, but I also wanted to say you found the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought me some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. Totally unrelated. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. We need to find uh, hey, fucking Victoria. Oh, there's Dana. Yes. Oh, that girl. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can Didn't have time. Outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, 
Have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great. This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. <laughs> I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. He needs a lot of help. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or Big Boss friends. came in and just like Plus, I like laid down on the floor. And his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance though. Yeah. Look Stay with him. I know Not. Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Her? Yes, you should. But we'll see. Victoria, your pictures. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? I'm way beyond that. Blue, what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. More than stupid, it's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. Oh, Stephanie, Imagine thank you. Me from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. Okay. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcome. Oh, she but suddenly opens up to me. No clue. I'm only here to become a photographer. Not president. You have talent. You're you gonna be talent, nice. Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Uh... Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision, that would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't have to be in your stupid club. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around. I hope she takes the warning. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe 
anything you say. Mm. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's oh, a different world, so I am going to get so Thank you. even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Revoir. Well. Okay, I tried. She's not going to believe me over her Vortex Club partner. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. Everyone is scared of him. What does Victoria say about him? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother sister. Or something. Uh... She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So, you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. Oh, He's a good. Simulator. She's smart. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh yeah, her mom oh. is sick. Thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us too. Huh, oh, that's nice. Okay, she's that smart. Son of a bitch is not here. What's up, Hayden? Oh, look! Up in the sky, it's super he's so high. Here to save the party. <laughs> Have you seen Nathan? Makes sense though I to take girls away on parties, because you can just be like, oh my gosh, she's so fucking see. drunk, I'm just gonna or slip something in her drink. Tell her she's too drunk and she needs to go to emergency, and then you take her away. And no one will think about it. No thanks. Come on, I was kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. So, has anybody here seen me? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick What about Victoria? <sighs> go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm to do this kind of Maybe you better take a piece of the Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a vortex club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan to me. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to come. Okay. Looks like that's about it. <laughs> this girl She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns that black ball. Well, at least if she bars like this, she won't choke on her own vomit. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. He looks bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it! Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson! Are you both okay? You look like you're on a mission. Oh, uh, sure are. I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still Big boss is funny. <laughs> he's loafing. Kate's situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. 
I have to announce the winner of the contest. Oh, I forgot about the contest. The uh, winner winner being announced today. To build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Oh, Big Boss is eating something he's not supposed to. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, but I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph. Maybe we should just follow about Victoria. Now this... You're it's so the most hot. Important step in being an artist, sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. <laughs> wah, the wah, envelope, wah. please. And the winner is Victoria. Oh my! What a shocker, Victoria Chase. She's lucky, since considering she tried to sexually harass him, Thank kind of, so and then Mr. bribe him or blackmail him. It was him. your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> you suck, Victoria. Victoria. That's the best. <laughs> I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Ooh. Kitty. No. <laughs> He's meowing. No. Oh. oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh. The moon is disappearing. I'm sitting at the desk. Yeah, big bus. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. This is not good. Yeah, big boss is really big. Did we just leave the body though? Maybe he was talking about the barn. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. The fuck was that? Al was just like, let me just pass right in front of you. God, I wanna fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Max, please hurry! Did you take the body? Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! <gasps> no! Oh no, he drugged me and then I can't rewind. Oh no! Holy shit. Where'd she get hit though? In the head? She get hit around the face? Holy. Holy shit. 
Yeah, we were really dumb just going there like that. <gasps> I knew it! Fuck, I fucking called it! Shit! That was like episode one. I was like, he's too nice. It's like I was like, he's gonna be the killer for Rachel. Oh my god, I said that! I totally said that. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, I so called it. I totally forgot about it. <sighs> Wait, but... Hmm. Is he working with Nathan in that case? Because the barn is family owned. Oh, big boss. Maybe he's hungry. He's he keeps meowing, but then when I pick him up, he's like, "No, come here, baby. I'll get you food in a bit, yeah. Come here. You know you want to." Oh man, I fucking called it. Someone, someone left a comment on YouTube saying like, "Oh my god, the thing, Ga the things Gav is saying in the first episode. If only she knew what would happen later on." And I was like. Of course, I didn't know what he was talking about because I say random shit the entire time I'm playing. I was like, fuck, what, what could he mean? And I, I totally forgot until this happened. I was like, wait. <laughs> he was too good to be true, yeah. Black room, photo room, and only one guy in school with such skills. Yeah. But he has to be working with Nathan, though, because Nathan is, like, buying the drugs and stuff. Right? Nathan is the one who took her to... Like, Kate remembers being taken away by Nathan, so they work together, maybe? Um, I'm surprised we found Rachel's body. That, um... She was actually just out there. I mean, I thought she was dead, but I didn't expect her uh, to be found. Because there's more of a mystery if they're not being found, you know? Sissy, thank you. Episode 5 is crazy as fuck. I'm super excited. I can't wait to play it, but it'll have to wait a little bit. Until after I move, because... Honestly, I would like to stream it tomorrow, but I just have so much shit going on. I only have two more days in Japan. I still need to take care of some shit. I also need to have some videos lined up for YouTube, because of course that needs to keep rolling. Um, it'll be too stressful, like, if I really try to stream tomorrow, so... It's better to just push it until after the move. We can start on a, on a strong stream, at least. Um, my mind is blown, Jefferson. Yeah. I, he was too he was too cool to be totally um, I didn't think he was like suspicious anymore in the later episodes but honestly he was like we hardly even mentioned him we didn't go to class so he wasn't at all in our peripheral if I can say that if that's the right way of saying it so it was very good the writing is super clever I of course it's sad but I love the fact that Rachel was in the junkyard this whole time. And that's, like, the place that um, Chloe likes to hang out so much. She, they've been that close this whole time. The writing is brilliant on that. Mm. Yeah, Wimsat. I think Nathan is a red herring, yeah. It's too obvious. Well, he's definitely guilty. I think he definitely has is, like, an accomplice, but he wasn't the one in charge. I guess. Yeah, and he fucking shot Chloe. Holy shit. I wonder if... If we get through this whole thing... And then maybe we go back through the selfie that we took with uh, Warren. That's not exactly the right moment, though. Unless we take the gun from Chloe and shoot Jefferson right there. Maybe that's one way to fix it. It depends if we come out with our powers back and the world hasn't, hasn't been destroyed yet. 
Because that hurricane is also still coming. Like, I know it's... It's like... It showed... The hur hurricane showed up in fucking episode one at the end. And it's like, we gotta stop this. And then we never mentioned it again. Everyone's too caught up in their own shit. Which is kind of infuriating. That she's like... Getting so caught up in shit that I mean, of course, it's really important and it matters. But if the world's about to, if the entire town's about to be fucking fucking wiped out, you have more important things to worry about. Oh, she could have believed my warning. Ah, shit. Is it because I took the picture in the beginning, where enemies because of the fuck your selfie thing? Oh, five fifty-seven percent accepted Chloe's request. Shit. It's more than I thought. Stopped Warren. No one got hurt. 72. Oh. Chloe killed Frank. Holy shit. I feel like I missed out on a couple things here. Leave a message on Warren's slate. Oh, I could have done that. Figured out Nathan's spin code. Yeah. Totally did. It was his birthday. Helped Alyssa. I did help- I help Alyssa every episode. <laughs> That's fun. Didn't disturb the bird's nest. Okay. Save the blue jay. Let the blue jay die. Fuck. Found David's code. I remembered it from the previous episode. I was surprised by that. I normally immediately forget codes. Motivated Daniel to attend the party. Yeah, and now he has a date. That's awesome. Oh, let's see it. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna get fucking raped. Even if I rewind time, like, I'm still gonna be traumatized by it. That's crazy. Even if I can make it so it never happened, I will remember it happening. Fucking loud. Damn. Isn't that fucked up though? Like, even if I manage to fix everything by the end, um, Max still remembers everything that happened, so she'll always try to uh, take, um, carry this trauma with her. And, and no one will believe her if she fixes it because then it will never have happened either, so. Ooh, it's fucked up now! That's awesome. Holy shit. That's still the music is like super... super nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna be away for a week. No streams until Monday afternoon if you're ESD. Uh, Monday night if you're in Europe. So, hooray for anyone in Europe. This will be the first night You'll have to- you won't have to get up at like fucking 4am or something <laughs> to watch. <laughs> um, yeah, for anyone who can't make it at that time, who's out, um, definitely it's gonna be up on YouTube afterwards, so you can watch it there. Um, keep a close, close eye on my Twitter. That's where I'm gonna keep you guys all up to date, where I am at the airport, how it's all going with Big Boss. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna basically tweet about stuff like, got the bus, now I'm here, now we did this. Um, I won't have a phone, but I should be able to tweet with my phone still, even if there's no contract, I think. Otherwise, my iPad, as long as I have Wi-Fi somewhere, I can tweet. Um, so you can uh, keep track of my journey, at least. And um, Let's uh, all get cross our fingers and hope I arrive in one piece, <laughs> together with Big Boss. Yeah, it'll mostly be will be on Twitter. I don't think I'll make any, take any pictures or, and even if I do take pictures, I think the Wi-Fi will be too too bad to actually upload pictures. So mostly just tweets. Um, yeah, I hope everything goes super smooth. It should be. I'm I'm as prepared as I can be. Um, so. Nothing should go wrong, but of course, fingers crossed, knock on wood, etc., etc. 
Hey, my travel buddy. Ah, this big boy will be with me. So we, the two of us, will be in the Netherlands on Friday. I really hope Big Boss won't be too stressed. But he should be fine. He's a good boy and I'm uh, he has me to look after him. So, should be fine. You want to lick my thumb? Oh, you're such a baby. Um, but yeah. That that's it. This was the last ever stream in Japan. Holy fuck. That's so weird. Started my channel here for 4 years now been uploading shit so that's it I'll see you guys on Monday isn't that crazy nothing should really change though because I'll have a green screen so for you guys it'll look exactly the same <laughs> Kira thank you so much travel snack thank you it'll really help me out it's gonna be so expensive finding a new place and uh, down payment and everything fuck I hope I can find a place quickly but yeah, so next time we'll... Uh, next stream, we'll start with like a hangout first, so chat, just chat for like half an hour and I'll talk about everything I've done that week. And then we'll finish Life is Strange. After that, I haven't planned much. I planned a hidden object game to just relax to, but other than that, I have nothing planned and I don't really know what to do. So I'll have a good think about it. I think I want to do... Um, Before the Storm is the prequel, right? I'll do that it's like beginning of somewhere in August for sure and then for September we have the new game then right and September also has Shadow of the Tomb Raider so those are some games I will definitely do I also want to hook up my frame Meister again and play some retro game maybe Dino Crisis 2 or something because I missed my consoles I really did it's been a it's been a tough month playing just PC games and PS4 PS4 as well but I really miss my PS2 and my Wii <laughs> so we'll definitely do some more classics as well next month yeah well guys fingers crossed send me good thoughts on Friday as I'm traveling and that's it I'll see you on the other side holy shit I forgot I need to do credits let's do that let's do that and then we're done then I will edit like a mofo try to get everything done for this week on YouTube I almost finished another Deathmark translation. And then uh, tomorrow my computer is being disassembled. Holy fuck. Kier, Matt, Pokey, thank you so much for those donations. They really, really helped me out uh, for the move. Thank you so much. Feltner, Stephanie, Kier, Fox, Alice, Squeaky, Gum, and Indifference. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone who followed me today. I saw y'all following me. Thank you so much. Um, I'm also happy with all the... with the host I got. Who was it? Slam something. Slamantha! Thank you, Slamantha, for those. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss any other ones. Thank you. Thank you, Cry Baruga, Soul, Waffle, Puppet. Waffle, congrats again on graduating. Mara, Rel, Dubu, Matt, Gear, and Two Breaths. Thank you so much for the subs and resubs. We ended on 448 subscribers, so thank you so much. Uh, I wonder where we're gonna be at after a week. We'll probably be at like 400, I think. I think we'll we'll lose a lot in a whole week without streams. So let's. After that, we're gonna fucking break a sweat and get back on top of that horse. On that horse. On top of that horse. <laughs> we'll get back on the horse. Thank you guys. It was an amazing stream. Wish me luck, and I'll see you next week. Thank you guys. Good night.